He's just so cute. You might hear him. Chewy! Maybe. Okay. Hey, positive peeps. Welcome back to the channel. So I just got off of work and I made it a goal to finally vlog this all. And so backstory to this video, as you may have noticed in the title, these are the things that I do that kind of help me manage my chronic Achilles injury today. So there's a link in the description to the video that I filmed around this time actually last year where I go over a lot of the things that I'm about to discuss right now but I think I just wanted to do an updated version because I definitely learned a lot so part of this video part of this channel really is to share things that I do in my life to help alleviate some of those stresses and it doesn't just have to be with my Achilles injury but it could be just life stresses in general because there are so many things that can get us down and the important thing is to get back up and to stay positive. I mean, Rocky said it himself in one of the films. I think it was the one with his son where he's after he's grown up now and and Rocky says, you know, the life isn't all sunshine. Life ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, so here are the, some of the things that I do to alleviate that chronic injury or chronic Achilles discomfort today. So. The first thing right off the bat that I'll start with is just investing in really good walking shoes or running shoes. I'm wearing house shoes right now. Same with custom orthotics. Investing in really good custom orthotics, I think. The arch of my foot rather collapses when I bear weight on it, so it's just a little bit different. And so good shoes, good custom orthotics, and house shoes, and let's see. So some podiatrists may offer night splints and what that is is essentially a boot that you wear that stretches your calf when you're sleeping. So I honestly don't know who can sleep with it throughout the entire night, but I usually subconsciously wake up in the middle of the night and take it off around like two hours after I sleep. So yes, the first thing is investing in really good gear for your feet. Second thing I will say that's really important is eating as healthy and as well as you can. At least for me, I can't work out as I used to when I didn't have to worry about my Achilles and when I could sprint as fast as I wanted to and run as long as I, as far as I wanted to. But now given my Achilles and the discomfort that I feel after a while of working out. I just can't burn the same amount of calories So I can't eat all the foods that I want to good equipment Eating healthy other things that I would do is stretch 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 So I don't show all of the stretches that I do here, but every morning I wake up I dedicate time to stretching my Achilles both static stretches and sort of more active stretches and then investing in a slant board. Well, I didn't really invest. My dad created a slant board for me, but you can totally buy one on Amazon. I also stretch my body as best I can before I run. So there are a couple of exercises that I do before I run now so that I make sure, I used to just get up and go and not do any stretches when I ran. And that's probably what got me to this place today. But definitely now I stretch my entire body. Stre going off of stretches, I would say doing some exercises. So my one podiatrist said when you run, you're working your calves a lot anyway, so you don't really need to do some of those calf, the eccentric raises. But, and I'm really not good at it, but I know that at the gym, there are just machines that help you put more weight on as you do those calf extension and calf raises. I would say those are the kind of the main buckets, the main pillars. So I would say that's like the fifth thing is I really listen to my body. If I just 
know that I, I won't be able to sprint up that hill as I maybe have used to. I just listen to my body and I don't listen to my head and I don't go for that uphill sprint anymore. And just let my Achilles do what it can as of right now until maybe hopefully one day I get better and I can do those sprints. And then the last thing I would say that I do that's really important is just, again, staying positive and really trying to maintain that happy, healthy mindset of, you know, it's really scary on the one hand because every day I do have that fear and I pray before every run where I'm asking God for to bless me with this run and to make sure that I don't just completely tear my Achilles because I luckily didn't completely tear my Achilles, but I definitely think about my Achilles a lot subconsciously. And so I think prayers really help. I'm religious. I don't know if you're religious, but prayers definitely help. And just getting myself into that mentality of, okay, Achilles is, is not everything. And I'm still going to try and work out the best I can because I want to have and live this active lifestyle. And, but I'm okay if I push it too far and if I ever do completely tear my Achilles or anything happens, to still be in that mental space of saying, well, who I am is someone who wants to be, who wants to get up each day and go for it and work harder towards getting that goal. So I think just maintaining a very healthy positive mindset throughout this entire injury phase is really important and I think it's actually probably the most important thing. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and if you're going through any injury, I'm not only injured my Achilles, I also have shoulder, chronic shoulder pain from my junior golf days. So if any of this applies to you, I am so sorry. And so if you also are going through something, please feel free to put in the comments and we can kind of go through it together. And yeah, so I wanted to say stay positive and thanks for watching. Bye.